how to eliminate render blocking JavaScript and CSS files in above the fold content for WordPress. In this video session, I'm going to share insights with you in terms of best practices for eliminating render blocking JavaScript, as in JS files, and CSS. Remember, most WordPress sites, including some WooCommerce, requires a theme that loads CSS. You may have many different plugins that is needed for your setup. So therefore they may load JavaScript files and so on. Now then the best way to fix these is actually by using defer as in defer the loading of your JavaScript or load them asynchronously. There are some plugins such as auto optimize. They allow you to put some jQuery in the footer or some other JavaScript files in the footer. But the best way then is you need to make sure that for your setup, whatever page speed is complaining about, for J, yeah, JavaScript files, test defer loading and asynchronous loading. Because in this example, you can see PageSpeed is complaining, right? But I've created this for test purposes. Because in the next setup, there is no more JavaScript files that's being um, blocking the page load. And the reason that is is because I'm using a sync and defer. Now I'm not going to show you some plugins because there are many. Some of them do you know, dirty hacking so to speak as in search and replace the script itself. Okay so at the end of the day when you look at source code you need to see a sync and defer as in test them for whatever is being blocked. Also with CSS depending on what you're seeing here, if it's plugins that the page speed is complaining about, some plugins require CSS files to load. And then you need to make a judgment as to say, okay, you know what? How that plugin improves your website. Surely it adds value, that's why you're using it, right? But at that moment you may say, okay, you know what? Does that plugin need to be loaded above the fold? Can it load in the footer? perhaps later when the, everything else loads, so to speak, makes sense. So that's the best way to eliminate CSS files. Now, if you're using Google Chrome, you can press on F12, press on network, and actually request your landing page. Now, because I'm logged in here, many other things are being loaded. But at the end of the day, here you will see different insights in terms of how the page loads. Okay, so you can perhaps gain more ideas as to what's being called. Yeah, as I've said, you know, this is rather a complex thing to really fix for most setups. That means some JS files may be even required to be just left in above the full content. That will depend on the way you have set up your WordPress site. Because some WordPress sites are highly advanced, including the theme, the plugin that is needed, and so on. So when you look at PageSpeed Inside, thinking, how in the world do I eliminate render blocking JavaScript and CSS? Just ask yourself, can you use defer and async loading of your scripts? Or can you load the scripts in the footer? Because I'll show you some of the scripts that I've placed in the footer for my particular setup. But remember, mine is a very simple setup, right? It's a blogging. Um, so I'll show you the ones in the footer. Okay, these ones, they are not needed as in validation for comments and so on. So what I've done, I've placed them in footer as well as I deferred the loading. So you need to do that as well for your setup. As in, identify what is absolutely required so the page loads properly. Okay, let me show you if I remove. If 
Okay, let's go to sources using developer toolbar. Let's go to themes. Let's go to this theme. Here you can see I've got HTML5. If I remove that, how will the page look? Makes sense because I'm using the latest browser, it's okay. But what if I remove this here? So you test it to see how that affects if you remove certain things. Because if you can remove them and everything still is looking okay, I'm talking about plugins, JavaScript files that PageSpeed is complaining about, not others. Because then, you know, when you load them in the footer, they will still function as JavaScript but they will not render the page load times. Make sense? Because in my example here, I've got cookie content. So that could be perhaps loaded later. Make sense? So that's what you need to do as well. I know it's rather a very tricky issue to eliminate, but the best way is to take Google's advice and e either defer or asynchronously load JavaScript for CSS the insights in page speed is basically is rather outdated right inlining WordPress CSS how in the world are you going to do that especially if you're using a premium theme with very complex CSS rules so therefore sometimes you actually need to ignore some of these eliminate render blocking CSS issues okay and Remember, that's only one part of the equation in terms of, you know, better optimizing your website and its loading and so on. Remember, HTML5 is in the latest browsers and technology at hand, gives you further options such as DNS prefetch, pre-connect, pre-load as well. Okay, so all these are res um, hints to the browsers to these are called speculative optimization techniques. You can visit this URL as far as resource hints and how you may be able to use some of them. But remember, these are, as I've said, very highly technical skill is required to tap into these. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you've got any questions or comments, use the video commenting system and I'll talk with you in the next video session.